Welcome back, everybody. We have another TTM video to get to. We've got seven today. We try to do this twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. Hope your week is starting off well. Seven TTMs, seven through the mail autographs. First one's coming from Pittsburgh, PA. It's a Berg thing. We like getting returns for Pittsburgh. And there's Elroy Face, a really quick return. And as usual, we sent four cards, including the double deuce right there. Send that off to Vern Law, both in their 90s. Elroy himself is 96 years old. The autograph still looks great. Four of four. Very fast return. Six days. I sent four cards, $10, including that 63 Fleer, which is a short printed set for sure. Rarely see those. Get that signed for Vern Law for 10 There's that postcard that we won from... Tony Black's old LCS over there at uh, Collector's World, Northern Virginia. And there's the 60 tops, which always look great signed. <laughs> Mr. Law, 96 years old, six times an all-star. And I say this every time I get him back, but uh, he revolutionized the game and one of its first full-time closers and set the standard, really. Led the NL in games pitched when he retired, 896. Led him with saves, 193. Season wins, 18. I think he still has that record. And uh, still has the most NL wins for a reliever with 96. Had 104 overall. And most innings pitched in relief, 1,200 plus. Saved three games in the 60 World Series where he was a hero. For the Buccos, six days. I sent four cards and ten dollars. Your results may vary. I don't think it requires a fee. Miami, Florida, Florida. Up next, Miami, Florida, Florida. Larry Little, Hall of Fame, ninety-three. He matched Tom Mack, and he shot me out on that one. Signed one of two. Looks pretty sweet. Sent him ten dollars. Maybe you don't send him dupes. Maybe that's the key. We'll just cover that one up. Tom Mack signed that one. Signs one card, usually one card for free and two and then five dollars thereafter. I sent him two cards and ten bucks and didn't get two. So as I say, your results may vary. 78-year-old Hall of Fame offensive lineman. He played 14 seasons, 67 to 80, five times in the Pro Bowl for Mr. Little. 1970s all-decade team. And Hall of Fame, as he says, 1993, six years prior to Tom Mack. Seven, eight, nine, ten days. I sent two cards, ten bucks. Send him one at a time. You might be like uh, Andre Dawson and Wade Boggs. Atlanta GA RPDC Regional Processing Distribution Center. Used to be in the Metro, Atlanta Metro. There's Danny Bugs, Lightning Bugs. Two rookies and a 79. And there's Thank You Jesus is Lord in Love. Pretty cool there. Danny Lightning Bugs. See his returns from Atlanta all the time, but his mailing address is in California. I don't know why it's like that. From WVU. Let's see if it says there. I'm sure it does. Home Morgantown, West Virginia. Played at Morgantown, West Virginia, West Virginia University. Was a star there, of course. Called him Lightning Bugs because he was fast as lightning. May have run track as well. He was that fast. Yeah, played professionally 11 seasons. We'll put both those rookies out there. 75 to 85. NFL, first five seasons. 75 to 79. And then he played in the CFL from 80 to 82. And then in the USFL from 82 to 85. And he won a great, great cup championship in 1980 with Edmonton. Quarterback there by the name of Warren Moon. Throwing him passes. Three weeks time there to... 20, 20 days, no fee, Danny Bugs. California, Georgia, to my house. Harrisburg, PA, up next. Harrisburg, PA. The Moose. Man, that looks nice. And the 91 upper deck looks sweet, too. Brand new Sharpie. Look at that thing. Big and bold. The Moose. Former teammate there. We got Paul Carey back not too long ago. I showed that team picture. Still should have that out somewhere. Look that up. Musina, great pitcher, Hall of Famer, obviously. 
55 years old, 270 wins against 153 losses, 2,800 plus Ks, and led the league in wins in 95. He's in the Orioles Hall of Fame and Baseball Hall of Fame as of 2019. 10 days, and there's a $10 fee per. Hold on just a minute. We'll get that picture. All right, we showed this not too long ago. We got Paul Carey back. There's yours truly. Boom, with the mustache. And we got Paul Carey, and there's Musina right there. Pretty cool. Jesse Levis, I pointed him out. Joe Markulik led the nation in hitting. He was at Bucknell University up in Central PA. Led the NCAA in hitting as a senior. Great player there. Played shortstop for us. Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma. That's a 1986 U.S. Olympic Festival team, East Squad. Phoenix, up next. Musina was back in 10 days, and that's a $10 per fee. Phoenix, who we got? Uh oh, we put him in a penny holder, penny sleeve. Bert Campanaris, 72, 69 All Star, and 69 right there. That looks pretty cool. Love those old vintage campies. Those old great A's uniforms. Look at those. Those are sweet. Campy. He's borderline Hall of Famer, too. 82 years old now. Shortstop. 20 seasons. 64 to 83. Six times an All-Star. Six times stolen base champ. Had 650 stolen bases in his career. And look at these stats for a shortstop back then. Hit 22 homers in uh, 70. Boom! Played all nine positions in the game in 1965. That's pretty cool. Great, great player. Three-time back-to-back-to-back World Series champion. 72, 73, 74. Vital cog for those A's. And he's in the A's Hall of Fame. 2,200 plus hits. He signs for $5 or 3 for 10. And that's what I sent. 3 for 10. And he put him in a penny sleeve. Pretty cool. Last, well, that's uh, 12 days there. 12 days. Uh, for Burt Campy. Seattle, Washington, Seattle. Seattle, we're not allowed to talk about Seattle. Well, there's a big Sven Nader, and that's his rookie right there. And that's a 77. Usually signs the index card, too. Did not sign this one, but that's a big postcard size card. Gotta love those. That's a regular issue, Topps 1977. And this was 7374. ABA. As you will see, he's the only player to lead the ABA and the NBA in rebounding in a season. He played in ABA and NBA for 13 seasons. And uh, that should get more credit. Let's put this right here. 13 seasons, 73 to 85. Two NCAA championships at UCLA and never started a game there and had a 13-season NBA career. Well, how is that possible? Well, it's because he was backing up one of the greatest college players of all time, Bill Walton. You may have heard of him. So as a result, Sven never started a game at UCLA, but he won two rings, then became a great ABA NBA player. Two-time ABA All-Star, ABA Rookie of the Year in 74. Averaged 12.5 points and 11.5 rebounds over the course of his great career. And that is three weeks, 22 days, 22 days, no fee for Sven Nader. That's it. What'd you think? Let me know down below what you think. As always, I love to read your comments. Boom. Busina, Hall of Famer. And Larry Little, Hall of Famer. Only We only got one out of two from Larry. We'll send that back to him. Elroy Face, always great to see. And Burt Campy, Danny Lightning Bugs. Tell me what you think down below. As always, love to read your comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, click there. If you missed last Thursday's TTM video, I'll leave a link to there. Subscribe here. Link here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me, and we will see you soon.